Hello everybody, today we're just doing a short video on drywall tapes, fiberglass mesh tapes. I don't know if you've ever been to the store and you'll see a big selection of tapes. There's white tapes, blue tapes, green tapes, black tapes, all different colors, sizes, shapes. So this can get confusing on what to buy, what to use. The tapes that I always go to is just a basic white fiberglass mesh tape. That's the go-to. It's white because the mud we use is white. So when you coat over it, you're not going to see the tape bleeding through. There's other tapes out there like a green tape, but that is like they sprayed it with a biocide, so it's mold resistant. You'll get black tapes, blue tapes, yellow tapes, extra strength tapes. There's just so many choices. The yellow tape, I know a lot of people always buy the yellow tape. What that does, there's no better strength properties in it. What it is, you just put the yellow tape on the patch, and then when you coat over it, your, your coat job isn't good. You're still going to see the tape bleed through. So that's why they use colored tapes like that. It's good to see if, that you can see the drywall and everything's been taped because the tape is yellow or blue, so you see everything that's taped. Blue tape, that's mostly used for stucco, like stucco lath when they do the tape over the styrofoam. So that's why I just use a white tape. So when I coat the patch, even if the patch is a tight coat, you don't see the tape bleeding through. So that's why we always use these white tapes. There's an extra strength tape here. You'll see this stuff. It's like a brown tape. Now that's a go-to product. If you want to spend the extra money, it's twice as much compared to the white tape. But this is a really strong tape. I started using this more on my job, especially stubborn crack areas gaps, stuff like that. I've been using this brown tape. It's an extra strength fiberglass tape. The difference between an extra strength fiberglass tape and a regular tape is that the regular fiberglass mesh tape just has vertical and horizontal fiberglass. The extra strength tape has vertical, horizontal, diagonal each way, cross cut so there's a lot more fiberglass directions in it so it's extra strength so it, it, it's going to hold a lot better it's a stronger material that's why it costs twice as much so if you're in doubt and money's no object just buy the extra strength tape if they if your local home improvement store sells it just get the extra strength tape why not but with me i use this the all-purpose tape I use is the white tape. It works pretty much for anything. As long as you hung the patch nice and tight and everything looks good, you just put it on, press it down with your six-inch knife, and it's good to go. You'll notice I use a spray glue on some of this stuff. The reason I'm using a spray glue, that just tacks, it on, tacks up the tape, especially on the ceiling, because I don't want to put the tape on there, even though there's some stickiness to the tape sometimes when you stick it on ceilings on old sheetrock patchwork the tape falls down so i'll be mixing my mud i go in there with a pan of mud to coat everything and all my tapes fall down so now i gotta put down my pan and knife put the tape back up pick up my pan and knife again start over so that's the only reason i use that spray glue it's just to tack the tape in place, little bonder strength it gives, but it's really not needed. It's just an optional tricks of the trade thing that I do. It's really not worth buying because the stuff's almost like $12 to $15 per can for the spray glue. And if you're just doing one patch, no big deal. You don't need it. But with me, I just use it because I have it on hand. Once you get your fiberglass on, no matter what color the fiberglass is that you decide to buy, Always strike in your fiberglass in the patch. What that does, it forces the mud inside the grooves and all the gaps of the fiberglass. Some guys don't do this step. They just coat right over it. But now you didn't force that mud inside the gap and the fibers of the fiberglass. So that's how you get cracks. So when people say fiberglass is no good, well, you didn't use it correctly. If you use this stuff correctly, you'll never have any issues with it cracking out. Other tapes out there in the market, I know everybody 
comments. They want to use a fiber fuse, paper tape. That's all fine and dandy. If you're trying to put the mud on first, have the mud thin enough for the tape, and then pull the tape mud out of there and let the mud set, sure, use fiber fuse. I'm not going to say it's no good. I use fiber fuse once in a while. The only time I use like a fiber fuse tape, if I'm repairing a stubborn crack that's been repaired more than once, then I might use a fiber fuse. That's like last resort when I use a fiber fuse. I know guys, they swear up and down and that's the best, the best. But sure, use whatever you got, whatever time you got. With me, I have to finish these jobs in one trip. I got to get the mud on, get them coated, get the mud setting up fast so I can get these jobs textured one trip. So I have to use fiberglass mesh tapes. I've been doing this a long time. The only time I had a fiberglass crack on me, like a crack callback, it was because they had someone in the attic that was stepping in the attic the next day and they re-cracked out my fiberglass while the mud was still wet. So that's the only time I've had an issue with fiberglass mesh. It's a go-to product. When in doubt, just use the extra strength fiber tape if you can find it at your local store. It's a good product. But yeah, just basic video, fiberglass mesh tapes. The debate's out there how good it actually is, but I use it every day and I never have any issues. Hey, thanks for viewing.